Hey guys, so I had quite a few requests to go over Melee and more machines, so that's what I'm going to do in this video, and I, I took some time to come up with a good problem that I think would explain the difference between a Melee and a more machine. So, let's go ahead and begin. The problem that I came up with is we want a machine that outputs a 1 uh, if there has been at least three ones in the sequence and it only looks at the last uh, uh, four um, excuse me it only looks at the last three digits that we entered so let's try this first we, we uh, were given a problem so we can write that down problem can you guys see that there we go zoom in There we go. We want a machine that will output a one. There we go. When at least three ones have been entered in sequence. Okay. Excuse my terrible handwriting, but that's just how I write. <laughs> so we want to make a melee and a more machine out of this. And um, personally, I like to start with the state transition uh, diagram before I make the state definition table. So let's go ahead and make the diagram for, for the more machine. So let's just start with S0. That's pretty common. S0, and of course we output a 0 there. Okay, so we're in our very first state, and we want to look at the last three three things that we entered. So, we and we want three ones in sequence, right? So, so if we input a 0, well that, that doesn't help us, that doesn't add to any of our ones, so we'll just go back to as zero, so if we input a zero, we go back to state zero, and we output a zero. I hope that makes sense. But if we enter it on one, well, then we're, then we're starting to add to the three ones that we need. So we're going to need some way to keep track of all three ones, right? So we'll have state one, and because we're, we don't have our three ones yet, we will still output a zero. So if if we input a one, well that's gonna start adding to our three ones. So we'll go to state one, if we enter a one, output a zero. But what happens if we're at state one and we input a zero? Well, that breaks the the three ones that we need in sequence, right? So we have to start all over. So we go back to state zero if we input a zero. And Let's go to state 2, and we will output another 0. Well, if I enter in a 1, then now we have two 1s in sequence. Two 1s in sequence. But if, if, if I enter in a 0, well, that breaks the two 1s we have in sequence, right? So i got to start all over again. So we're going to go all the way back to S0. And now we need one more state. So we'll have S, S3, and we will output a 1 this time. And to get there, of course, we need our third 1. So now we have three 1s in sequence. 1, 2, 3, and now we can output a 1 according to our, to our problem. But if we get a zero, 
well, we, we break the chain again, so you have to start all over, unfortunately. But if we get a 1, remember we need at least three 1s in sequence. So if I enter in a 1, and we look at our last our last three digits again, well, we still have 1, 1, 1. So I hope that makes uh, a little sense. So now let's go with the melee machine. Let's do the melee machine. Melee. I like melee a lot better. I think they're simpler, easier to build, easier to understand. So, of course, we will start with S0. And, well, if we input a 0, well, that breaks. We don't even have three ones yet. So we just go back to state 0. If we input a 0, then we output a 0. Left, left is input, right is output. See, on our, on our melee machines, our output depends on the state that we're in and our input, whereas the more machine, the output only depended on what state we're in. You see the difference? Melee, uh, state, input, more, just the state. So, now let's have another state, S1. Okay, and then if we input a 1, well that adds to our first one that we need. But we will still output a 0 because we don't have our three ones in sequence. But if we get a 0, you got to go all the way back. Input a 0, we output a 0. Then let's go to S2. Well, if we input a 1, well that adds to our second one that we need, right? But if we input a zero, then we gotta go all the way back to S zero and start over. Now we just need one more. Well, if if we can have an input and then an output without switching states, well then I can certainly add a a third one right here and say if our input is one, then our output is one. Does does that make sense? So Remember our melee machine? If if our output is solely dependent on our input and our state, okay? So, depending on what state we're in and our input, that will be our output. So we have to be in state 2 and we have to input a 1 to get an output of 1. And our more machine, we have to be in state 3 to output a 1. And so now, let's make our... our um, state definition table. I have my linear algebra homework under this. So well, let's let's look at a more machine. So state state uh, state zero will be um, a zero entered. State one will be a a um, one entered. State two will be a second one entered and state three will be a third one entered. Okay, so, so for our more, our state definition table, okay, we will need, uh, let's see here, we'll need our states, right, their meaning, and then our binary representation, okay? So, well, what states do we have? We had four. We had S0 through S3. We had four states. So, S0, S1, S2, and S3. And, and what was the meaning of S0? Well, that was a zero entered. And what was our meaning of, 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 of S1? Uh, well, that was a 1 entered, first 1 entered. So first 1 entered. And what was our meaning of state 2? Well, that was our second 1 entered. So 
second one entered, okay? And then state three, well, that was our third one entered. Okay. So we have four states, so we need to be able to represent this with, with four uh, binary combinations. And we know that that only takes two, um, two bits. So we can start with 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If we had five, we have to add an extra bit, right? <clears throat> and we only have one input, like I showed here. Since we have one input, we can only have two possible combinations at each state. That's why you have a what happens if we get a zero and what happens if we get a one. So that is our state definition table for the more. Now let's look at our state definition table for the melee. The melee machine. Okay. So we had states. Dang it. Stapler there. My fan is kicking this up. So if we had S0, S1, and S2, well, what's, what's our meaning of these? At S1, or sorry, S0, that was when we had a 0 entered. So 0 entered. Okay. And then, well, at S1, that was our first one entered. So, first one entered. Okay. And then our third state, or, yep, S2. Well, that was um, our second one entered and beyond. <laughs> so second, or I should say, at least two ones entered, okay? And now, since we only have three, we need at least three binary binary uh, uh, assignments, so we can just have zero, 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 one, one, zero, I think that's the simplest. So now that we have our, our two state definition tables, we can move on to uh, make our state transition table. And that is the big long part that can be pretty complicated. Uh, I have some extra paper here, I need to get that out. There we go. Okay. So let's, let's do our more machine first. So, let's see here. Okay. My fan's gonna blow everything away. So we're gonna need to address each possible input at each state and say what state will it go to and then what's the binary representat representation of state and the state that it will go, go to and the type of flip-flop that we'll use to build the circuit and then how to build the circuit. So let's let's start with our input. Our input. Can you guys see that? Okay. And then our state. And then our next state. And then our Q. And then our Q plus, and I like to use a D flip flop. I think it is the simplest flip flop, so we're just gonna go with that. And and since we have two bits to represent our binary states, we will need two D flip flops. So we will have D1, D0, and then our output we will call Z. Can you see all that? Ooh, yes you can. Good. Let me move this a little bit. Perfect. So we start with our states here. So for our, our, our more, I should. 
Okay. So, see, we had four states. So we'll have, we need to address each input. There's two possible input combinations, right? So we will have S0, S0, S1, S1, S2, S2, S3, S3. Okay? And now we need to address our inputs. So we need to address what happens if we're at S0 and we get a 0. What happens if we're at S0 and get a 1. What happens if we're at S1 and get a 0. What happens if we're at S1 and get a 1. And so on. Okay? So if we're at, if, 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 if we are at state 0, okay, and we get a 0, well then our next state is state 0, S0, okay? And then if we're at state 0 and we get a 1, well then we go to state 1. And if we're at state, if we are at state uh, uh, 1 and we get a 0, we go back to state 0. And if we go, if we are at uh, state 1 and we get a 1, then we can go to state 2. And if we are at state 2 and we get a 0, we go back to state 0, a 0. And if we go, if we are at state 2 and we get a 1, then we go to state 3. And if we are at state 3 and we get, <laughs> and we get a 1, or sorry, if we get a 0, we go back to state 0. If we get a 1, we go back to state 3. If we get a 0, go back to state 0, and if we get a 1, go back to state 3. And Q, okay, Q is just our binary representation of our, of our state. So we said that, uh, let's see, we said that state 0 was 0, 0, so we can say, uh, darn fan, we can say this is 0, 0, and we said state 1 is 0, 1 is 0, 1 okay and then state 2 was 1, 0 so this one is 1, 0 and then we know that state 3 is 1, 1 state 3 is 1, 1 and you put these under my stapler is 1, 1. So we can fill these out. So we're at S0 again. So 0, 0. S1, 0, 1. S2, 1, 0. S3, 1, 1. Okay. And Q plus. Well, that's just our binary representation of our next state. So we know that S0 is 0, 0. S1, 0, 1. S0, 0, 0. S2, 1, 0. S0, 0, 0. S3, 1, 1. S0, 0. 0, 0, S3, 1, 1, okay? And our inputs for, hey guys, I don't really know what happened, but for some reason my phone decided to stop recording. So I was talking about our inputs, uh, D1 and D0, and D1 correspond to our uh, Q plus columns, and D0 correspond to those columns too. So I, I relabeled this column right here, Q1 plus, and this column right here, Q0 plus. And of course, D1 corresponds to Q1 plus, and D0 corresponds to Q0 plus. So I can just rewrite these binary assignments like such. Okay, and then our output just depends on what state that we are presently in. Well, our output we saw was only 1 when we were in state 3. So whenever we're in state 3, that's when we output a 1. So we output a 1 just here. And everywhere else, it will just be 0. Okay, so now let's do this for our melee machine. Our melee machine. You guys can see that well. So we will have our input state, next state, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, our Q1 
q0, q1 plus, q0 plus, and then let's see, we'll need d1, d0, and then our output z. Okay, so, oh, that all fits perfectly. So, let's start with our states again. Well, we have um, three states, S0 through S2. We need to address each input, but there's only two possible inputs. Just have S0, S0, S1, S1, S2, S2. So now let's address 0 at S0, 1 at S0, 0 at S1, 1 at S1, 0 at S2, 1 at S2. So if if we are in state zero and we input a zero, we go back to state zero. And if we are in state zero and we input a one, and we go to state one. If we're in state one and we input a zero, we go to state zero. And if we're in state one and we input a one, we go to state two. And if we're in state two, and we input a zero, we go back to state zero, S zero. And if we're in state two, and we input a one, we go back to state two, and we output a one. So we'll just have a one all the way over here. And then all of the rest um, will just be zeros. This is hard to line up. Okay. So remember that our Q's will just be our binary representation of our state and next state. So we would just have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, uh, 0, 1, and then 1, 0, 1, 0. And then Q1 plus and Q0 plus will just follow our next state. So we will have 0, 0, and then 0, 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And then D1 and D0 will just will be the exact same as our, um, what is it? Will be the exact same as our Q columns. We'll just have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And my camera thing is going to break. There we go. Yes, I'm holding this with tape. Uh, maybe, okay. Nope, it's falling. <laughs> Good enough. So now that I have our state transition tables, let's uh, make k-maps from these. So, well, we know that on more machine, uh, we only need uh, inputs for our D flip flops and our output. Well, same for the muting machine. So, our inputs for the D flip flops um, are going to be combinations of its present state. So, it's going to be a combination of Q1 and Q0, and it's also a combination of our inputs. So, so we just want to look where D1 is 1, right? And D0 is 1. So now let's make a K-map for D1. So D1, and well, we have three variables. We have Q1, Q0, and our output 0. Or out, our output, <laughs> sorry. Our input, input, it's our input. <laughs> so we will have a three variable K-map. Alright, and here we will have our input. We will call we will call y. Okay. And then our present state we have q1, q0. So now let's address the inputs. Okay. So and see where is d1 1? Well it's at um, it looks like our input is 1, so it's going to be our bottom row, and where 
Q1, Q0 is 0, 1. Okay, so it's going to be where our input is 1 and Q1, Q0 is 0, 1. So we're going to have a 1 right there. And it's also 1 when our input is 1 and our present state is 1, 0. So bottom row, 1, 0. And then it's going to be a 1 when our input is 1 and our present state is 1, 1. So now I can circle these, do a combination like that, and then a combination like that. So D1 is equal to, that uh, looks like uh, Q0, Y, or, uh, hmm or Q1 and Y. So now we need to do the same thing for D0. So Kmap for D0, same inputs. And let's see, we have our input Y, Q1, Q0, all possible combinations. Well, D0 is 1 when our input is 1 and our state is 0, 0. So our input is 1, state 0, 0. And when our input is 1 and our state is 1, 0, so 1, 0, and then our input is 1 and our state is 1. Okay, so circle these and then circle these. So D0 is, looks like Q1 and Y or uh, Q0 not and Y. So I need one more. We need to address our output z, and it's just a function of whatever state we're in. So it's just a function of q. So let's do z, and we will have uh, two variables, q1, q0. Can you guys see that? Oh, yep, OK. Okay, so zero one zero one. Well, our our output looks like it's going to be one whenever we're in state three. So we're gonna so whenever they're both one, that's when our output is one, which is right here. So z is equal to uh, looks like q one and q zero, which makes sense because it's just a function of our present states. And these are only our present states, so they both have to be 1 in order for our output to be 1, which is exactly what we did on our, on our um, uh, state transition diagram. So if S3, which is our binary assignment of uh, 1, 1, well, that will only output a 1 when we're in S3. My camera is breaking, falling off again. But, oh well. So... So now we can use this, this is our more, we can use this to build a, um, a circuit that will actually implement this. But before we do that, let's do the melee. So the melee. So we will need a handy dandy state transition table again. So we will need to uh, find our inputs for the D1 and D0 flip-flops and our output Z. So let's do D1. Okay, and we it'll be a function of our input, uh, which will which which will be Y again. So we'll have Y, and then Q1, Q0. And, yep, okay, 
0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. And so D1 is a 1 when we're in, we have an input of 1 and our state is 0, 1. So just like that. And our, uh, and at, sorry, and at state, uh, our input one and at state one zero. Okay, so that's, we just have to circle those. So at Q zero naught, oh, sorry, D one is equal to, um, <laughs> Q1 not Q0 uh, and Y, right? Or Q1, Q0 not and Y. So now let's do D0. Um, okay, same Y. Q1, Q0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Well, when our input is 1 and we're at state 0, 0. Okay. And also when... Oh, that's it. <laughs> that is it. So it will be at Q1 naught, Q0 naught, Y. And now we just need our output... Z, which we know is just a function of, can you guys see that? There we go. Which is just a function of our inputs and our present state. So, so we'll have another three variable kmap, q1, q0, and our input y. Uh, there we go. At yeah, zero 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 one 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 zero zero one. Well, our input z is only one when we have our input of one and we're at state one zero. So we'll just circle that. So z is equal to q one q zero naught and y. So now let's use these to build a uh, a circuit. So let's check them first because because that's a good idea. So here we have uh, hmm. well we have Q0 because that's the non-changing literal in Y, okay. And then Q1 in Y, alright. And then and then we have Q1 because the non-changing literal in Y plus Q naught and Y, okay. So that, that all looks good. So now let's build, let's build them more. Build them more. Well, so let's write, write down our equations again. So D1 is equal to Q0 Y plus Q1 Y d0 is q1 y plus q0 not y. Our output z is just q1 q0. So let's build this. Well, we have two flip-flops. So let's just start with those. Two flip-flops. They're d flip-flops, right? So we have d1 D0, so obviously our it's gonna be Q1, Q1 not, Q0, nope, just 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 Q0, and then Q0 not. And then we will have our our clock. Right, we need a clock. This will be our clock, and this will be our input D1 and our input D0. So, D1 is Q0 and Y plus Q1 and Y. 
So we're going to need our input y and our clock. So we want to and q, q, q0. So let's take this, bring it all the way back and up to here. And let's and it. Okay, we want to OR that with Q1 and Y. So let's do this again. Uh, let's build another AND gate. And have this going into here. Take Q1 and that. And then we OR that. And voila! And let's see, D0 is Q1 and Y. Well, we already have that. That's that's just this one. And then it's this AND gate. And then Q0 and Y. So we're going to need another AND gate. Q0 not and Y. So Q0 not, well, that's just right here. And Y, which is right here. And we want to OR that with this one right here. There we go. And then, of course, um, our clocks are connected. Because we can't change states without a clock, right? So, and now our Z is just Q1 and Q0. So, so Z. Here's Q0 and Q1. And that is what our circuit looks like if we were to build this. Pretty cool, huh? So now we have our final design for our more machine. Um, I, I hope it works. <laughs> uh, I don't want to test it, but I hope you get the idea. So now let's do our melee our melee. And let's write down our combinations again. So we have D1 is equal to Q1 naught, Q0, and Y, or Q1, Q0, and Y. D0 is Q1 naught, Q0, Y, and Z is equal to Q1, Q0 not, and Y. So, we have two flip-flops again, so let's draw those. Okay, D1, D0, so... This will be our clock. This will be D1, D0, Q1, Q1 not, Q0, Q0 not. Okay, so we'll have our input Y and then our clock. So, hmm, D1 is going to be Q1 not, so it's going to be this, Q0, and that, and Y. So let's and these two. Okay, now you want to and this with Y. So let's take it back and and that with Y. Okay, and we're going to or that with Q1 and Q0. So uh, <laughs> let's make another and gate way over here. So let's take Q0. And then Q1 and or that with with Y again. So take that back and that with our Y. And then we're going to or that. And that's going to be our D1. And D0 
is just um, q1 naught, q0 naught, and y. So let's take um, q0 naught and let's take q1 naught and put it right there. And then let's take our y and and that. So take that back and bring it way over here. And then build our and gate. And then take our y and that. Put that into d0. There we go. And then of course we have our clock. And then our output z is just an and function of q1 um, can you guys see that? there we go of q1 uh, q0 not and y and our y is right here so Take that all the way over here, and we have our output Z. <sighs> Done. We finished. We now built a melee more machine with something that we want to get three ones in sequence out of, and that's how much work it takes to do all of that. So, thanks for watching. I hope you understood a little bit more, and see you in my next video.